Hello everybody. Today we'll be talking about layers and transparency. When I first started using GIMP and I wanted to start making my, when I got to the point I wanted to start making my own images instead of just modifying other people's images, I started watching some tutorials on how to do things. And one of the things people would be talking about would be to use the, to select out an image and to quickly cut around it or to select that, you can use the fuzzy tool and you'll see these dancing lines then, what they call marching ants some people say, or and stuff like that. And this is the selected area now. And you can clear that out by going up to edit and clear. Then you're left with a checkered box for a background. That checkered box means that that area is transparent. I'll be like, alright, that's great. So, I would go to the image I have, and I would want to select this area to save, and the black area to delete or clear out. So I would do just as they said and I would click on it. Now it's highlighted as you can see with the marching ants. And I would go up to edit and clear. But I wouldn't get a checkered background. I would get a white one or a black one or a red one but I wouldn't get the transparent background. I wouldn't get the checkered background. So why is that? Transparency is the same as alpha. Okay? So you can go to layers and then go to transparency and click on add alpha channel okay so now when we click on this area we get the marching ants and we'll go up here to clear go to edit and clear now we have a transparent background okay so that's just a little on that. Show you what that is and how to get to it. Okay. So now we're ready to start talking about layers. Right here we have a like a sheet of paper. And anything you put on top of this would be kind of like layers. If you put another sheet on top of it that'd be a second layer, and if you put another sheet on top of that, that'd be a third layer. That's what layers are, pretty much. So let's lay this down. Alright, we've laid our sheet of paper down, and now we'll put another one on top of that. And we'll put another one on top of that. And it's just like layers being stacked one on top of another. But, if these are not transparent, the ones on top, then you won't be able to see through them. We can take this layer down, you can click on this eye here, you can take that one off. But this one here, we were able to see through these two, but we can't see through this one to see our paper that's standing up below that. That's because this is not transparent at all. Okay. We can make this slightly transparent. If I come up here to opacity, click on this layer and start taking the opacity down. And it starts to become transparent and you can see through it. 
Okay. If you have so whatever's on top, if it's transparent, you can see right through it to the next layer in those areas that are transparent. If it's not transparent, you won't see through it. So if we have this sheet of paper right here up above the one in front of it. Now you can't see the one that's laying down. You can only see the one that's standing upright. And where, no matter where you put that in the image, you won't see below that. And you won't see what layers are below that visibly as long as it's selected. Okay. A couple of things about transparency. So we just figured out that when we click here, well, let's go. Let's go back to our other image, I guess. We will go back here and we'll talk about transparency again really quick. So we'll select this and we'll clear it out like we did before and we'll take a paintbrush and we'll paint on our image here and we'll just start painting all right as you see we can paint on our image but we go over the image here and onto the transparent area. If you don't want that to happen, you can lock the alpha channel. Click on this box right here. You've now locked the alpha channel for that layer. So what happens? We can do this, but it does not paint. It does not, nothing affects your transparent area. See that? Okay. Deselect that. And you can paint into the that area again. Okay. Let's take a look at layers again.